to the advantage of group locus this is advantage advantage of group locus now first point is to analyze the stability of a control system to analyze the stability of a control system so to analyze the stability stability of what stability of closed loop system to analyze the stability of a closed loop control system so to analyze the stability of this closed loop control system flow so means closed loop control system second advantage is that is also root locus we are using to find the value of k okay to so find the value of k if k is unknown how do we find the value of k via the root locus that we will see okay so to find the value of k that we can also use the root locus and very important most important is that is system nature very important is system nature so most of the questions are coming from this one means that is system nature is means what is the meaning of this system nature that is my system is undamped or my system is underdamped or my system is critically damped or my system is overdamped so system nature we can also find out from the this root locus okay so that we will just see in the example itself uh, after this completion of the rules clear and the fourth point is also that is to find the relative stability so what is the relative stability that we will discuss okay later so to find the relative stability to find the relative stability clear now this is the advantage of root locus these are the advantages now the next one is very important point is that is what angle and magnitude criteria that is what angle and magnitude criteria so far we have discussed the definition okay the meaning the 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 word by word this clarification of the this two definitions of this root locus that we understand now the definition of the root locus what does it mean uh, why just i am saying that uh, uh the root locus starts from the open loop poles and terminate on open loop zeros at k is equal to 0 and k is equal to infinity so that also that is very clear from this exam uh, that we have given the example okay now the next point is the very important this angle and magnitude criteria this angle and magnitude criteria and these are the very important points this angle and magnitude criteria now now see this closed loop transfer function pole that this closed loop transfer function pole that are given by this closed loop transfer function this poles are given by are given by 1 plus gs hs is equal to 0 correct so this is a closed loop transfer function that is a pole 1 plus by gs hs is equal to 0 so now gs hs is what gs hs is minus by 1 plus by j0 can i write 1 plus by gs hs is equal to 0 so gs hs is what that is minus by 1 plus by j0 so magnitude is gs hs that is magnitude is that is 1 and angle is angle of this gs hs is that is 180 degree this angle is 180 degree or that is a plus minus a 180 degree that is the same thing correct so 
the point actually this point this minus a one plus j zero is a point on the negative real axis. That is, this point is on the negative real axis. Where is the point of oh, C? This one. This is the point. This minus a one. Okay. This minus a one. That is the point that is on the negative real axis. And it can be traced as it can be traced as magnitude one. It can be traced as magnitude that is one at an angle of plus minus me at an angle of plus minus me one degree or plus minus me five forty degree or plus minus me nine hundred degree or also we can trace this point by two q plus one into me one eighty degree. That is the odd multiple of 180 because 180 240 900 like that. Correct. So this is the equation number one, and this one is the equation number two. Now the important point is any point, any point on the root locus, any point on the root locus must satisfy equation one and equation two. Must satisfy equation one and equation two. This is the important thing. Okay, that we will see in detail. This angle and magnitude criteria, angle and magnitude criteria. Okay, now we are going to see in, uh, that is detail of this angle and magnitude criteria. But important point is any point, any point that is on the root locus that must satisfy. Let me write this point is. Very important point. Any point on the root locus on the root locus must satisfy equation one and two, or we can say that is magnitude criteria and angle criteria. Clear? Now, what is the purpose of this magnitude criteria? This magnitude criteria. What is the purpose of the? What is the purpose of magnitude criteria? Actually, magnitude criteria is not so important, but angle criteria is very important. Purpose of this magnitude condition. The purpose of this magnitude condition is to find. The system gain, that is to find, to find the system gain means that is system gain means that is a k value system gain. Okay, so just the the benefit of this magnitude criteria is what just to find the system gain, just to find the system gain at any point. Which is on the root locus. So any point which is on the root locus that must satisfy the magnitude criteria. Correct. If any point on the root locus is satisfy the magnitude criteria from from that criteria magnitude criteria we can find the value of gain k. We can find the value of gain k that we will see in the example. Don't worry. Correct. So how do we find the system gain k? From this magnitude criteria, that we will see in detail. Correct. Now, second, now another another point is that is a what is the purpose of this angle criteria? What is the purpose of angle criteria? That already I, I told you, any point, any point, if it is lie on the root locus, that must satisfy this angle criteria as well as the magnitude criteria. Okay, so to check what is the purpose of this angle criteria, that we will see in the very detail. You don't worry. Correct. So now, what is the purpose of this one? Now to check. Now to check any point. To check any point. Lies on the root locus or no? To check any point lies on root locus or no? 
that means all the point on the root locus must satisfy the angle criteria if if the angle criteria is not satisfied the point will not lie on the root locus that is very simple point just by example that we just we can understand this this definition this line suppose example is that is point is gshs GSHS is what that is K divided by S into S plus my 5 into my S plus my 10. Okay, now the first point is check this point S is equal to minus my 3 lie on the root locus or no. The question is check whether this point lie on the check whether this point lie on root locus or not yes so s is equal to minus my 3 clear so if you put here this s is equal to minus my 3 so our GSHS is what? GSHS, GSHS, that is, if you put S is equal to minus my 3, that is, that gives me minus my 3, correct? Now put S is equal to minus my 3, that is 2, put S is equal to minus my 3, that is 7. Clear? So now this K, this is a positive value. How much of the angle is going to contribute by this K value? This constant. So, 0. Correct? This minus my 3. How much of the angle is going to contribute? Plus minus 180 degree. Clear? 2. This constant. How much of the angle is going to contribute? Plus my 0 degree. 7. This plus my 0 degree. So, now finally, minus plus 180 degree. This minus plus 180 degree again is a odd multiple of 180 degree. This is a odd multiple of 180 degree. That is our, that is our uh, objective. Okay. So now, now the S is equal to minus me 3, this point that, that uh, from this uh, minus 1, this angle criteria, now that we confirm that S is equal to minus me 3, that this point lie on the root locus because it gives the angle odd multiple of 1 degree. So any point, if any point is satisfy this angle criteria, the point lie on the root locus. Now let me check another another point that S is equal to minus my 6. So S is equal to minus my 6. So now GS, HS is S is equal to minus my 6. That is, if I put S is equal to minus my 6, that is K divided by minus my 6 correct that is minus my 1 that is 4 now how much angle is going to contribute by this k angle only this angle this is 0 degree this minus my 6 that is plus minus 180 degree minus 7 again this plus minus 180 degree that is 4 that is plus minus my that is 0 or simple that is 0 degree now the total angle is minus plus 360 degree that is a even multiple of 180 degree. This is even multiple. So now this S is equal to minus 6. This point will never lie on the root locus. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 This point is yes. This point is clear. Yes, sir. Correct. So out of two criteria magnitude and angle out of two criteria angle criteria is more significant angle criteria is more significant in the sense that any value of s that satisfies the magnitude criteria may not satisfy the angle criteria but any value of s that satisfy angle criteria that will satisfy the magnitude criteria clear Yes, 
can you say that again so yes yes now point yes point is now see this this angle criteria and magnitude criteria this out of this two criteria first criteria that is magnitude and second one is angle criteria angle criteria and magnitude criteria so out of this two criteria this magnitude criteria magnitude criteria is not so much important this angle criteria is very important because any point any value of s or any point that satisfy this magnitude criteria may not satisfy the angle criteria may not satisfy but any value of s any point of s that satisfy angle criteria that satisfy angle criteria that will also satisfy this magnitude criteria now suppose this example the example just uh, uh, correct so now you see here now now you see in this one uh, this s is equal to minus by 3 correct so s is equal to minus by 3 what should be the value of k what should be the value of k for this s is equal to minus by 3 hello okay okay let me explain so now this k divided by minus by 3 into by 2 into by 7 so k divided by minus by 42 so k value that should be 42 then only this magnitude criteria will satisfy clear yes sir then only this magnitude criteria will satisfy what is the magnitude criteria magnitude criteria is that is GSHS that is magnitude that is equal to 1 so if k is equal to 42 then this magnitude that is equal to 1 so what should be the value of k here in this one that is k that must be equal to 42 that is angle criteria is satisfied ok angle criteria is also satisfied for this point angle criteria that is satisfied and magnitude criteria if k is equal to 42 that is that is ok but now you check this point what should be the value of k what should be the value of k k 24. value yes very good 24 but is it angle criteria is satisfied no angle criteria is not satisfied for k value of 24 if i put k is equal to 24 angle criteria is not satisfied so this point what is the meaning of to calculate the value of k if the point is not lying on the root locus if this point does not lie on the root locus what is the meaning to calculate the value of k there is no need to uh, find the value of k because angle criteria is not satisfied because angle criteria is not satisfied if angle criteria is satisfied you can find the value of k so angle criteria is more dominant over to magnitude criteria if angle criteria is satisfied then you can easily calculate the value of k but if angle criteria is not satisfied there is no need to calculate the value of k because that particular point will never lie on the root locus